crosses will need to be firmly hit. Grealish to Brady. Mickey Walsh to Grealish. Good run by Robinson into that wide space. Whelan for Grealish getting forward. And Valtaccia scoops it away. Good constructive attack by Ireland. John Devine's throw. Brady sets it up for Devine. Ali Inikov, Oganisi and Ali Inikov has gone forward and that was a chance and Ali Inikov is Michael Robinson's marker. Brady as ever at the ball. And it was Walsh's header. Michael Walsh. Rodionov. Chivadze, beautiful shot. And there is no more of that. Begin the second half with one more time, Ali Inikov, right behind with the defenders. Here he is. Brady. Beautiful piece of work by Brady. Looks for the shot, gets a deflection. Oh, was not dice save, smart there. I think they'll all get on this evening. Lockings. Free kick, it was Tony Grealish's head that got it away. Here's a chance, it's there. Organizia, but the flag is up. The flag is up. And it's no goal. O'Leary. Galvin. Needs a left foot. They say it's going to touch. Robinson. gives him the advantage it's a strong run it's a good cross and here's Walsh Robinson, good refereeing that gave him the advantage. The referee played a large part in that. There was the cross, here was Walsh. Three defenders inside him, including the goalkeeper, took it well, swiveled, hit it, and went across the face of Dysair, and Ireland lead 1 to 0. Something to sing about for the Irish fans. Walsh. Mickey Walsh showing his form in style. Brady. Looks up, has plenty of time. Flick in by Robertson. Walsh. And a look for a penalty, but the referee waves the claims aside. Man is flagging Chris Hewton. The referee acknowledges the flag and plays on. Block in. Donald blocking speech. Need of champion. This looks good for the Soviets. Demianenko. Rodionov. Should have scored. There's no doubt about it. He certainly should have been on target. But it is very doubtful. Well, he's really put himself about this evening, and that's for sure. Hewton. Lawrence and not getting it away. It was Rodionov. Mark Lawrence was caught there. And great save. Here's O'Keefe. Nice little turn by O'Keefe. Dysef with a foot save. Here's Galvin. Hewton. It's full time. It's all over. Stapleton.
Whelan leaves and goes from Brady to Grealish. Shot on. Tom effort from Grealish, but he's in it very firmly to O'Leary in the first instance. O'Leary wins it well. Robinson played it to Galvin. Good cross, good run. Stable and Tedder. And Thurston gets it away. Super cross and run by Galvin, who is obviously a, in continuation of the forum he showed at Lansdowne Road. The run by Galvin, good cross on his left foot, header by Stapleton, and a keeper of his left knee. Inside by Eklund, knocked on by Torreson, Perlovson, Torreson. Nice square ball as Lawrence has stopped to Eklund off Lawrence's leg. Mort, the left back. Soler. Herr Lobson again. Here's Mort, the left back getting through. And a pile driver. He really hit that splendidly to the newest of the first half. Still no goals in this World Cup game in Oslo. Soler to Jakobsen. Jakobsen to Eklund. Jacobson and they're going to get a touch but it's in the net and sheer pace of Jacobson which has been there as a warning signal right from the start of this game but it was the artistry of Eklund that set it up they're going to get a touch the ball's momentum was killed but it still made its way in Jacobson the scorer Look at it again. Jakobsen was involved in the build-up, but it was the artistry of this man, Eklund. It'd been the best player. And look at the run of this 11-second, 100-meter man. McGonagher came, tried to narrow it down, but Norway lead 1-0. And couldn't supply the finish on his left. Mort for Norway. To Torreson, to Mort again. Eklund. And Mort kept on running. Gets in the cross. Ireland's in trouble. And a squealer who gets it away. Søren Lerby. Søren Lerby. 
Hans 8. landskampmål, et af de allerførste, var som en også mod Irland for 6 år siden. Her i København til Ellers Park, hvor et praktskud. Dette på en herlig gennembrud efter godt samarbejde med Elkær. Og Laudrup tror jeg, der var der stakken til ham der. Og så højre benet, det er bestemt ikke hans favoritben, men skal med det 3-0 til Danmark. Ian. Ready. Og så Laudrup. Elkær er gået. Ja, det er. Laudrup prøver at rykke positionen ind på midten. Der kommer han. Og der er Elkær. Alene nu med McDonough. Så skoer han. Ej! Det drejer sig altså om en halv centimeter. And a big Mick McCarthy on the edge of the penalty area, just to the right of picture. Out of shot, and uh, Beglin and Sheedy are together with the ball. Left for Sheedy. Coming to Langen. And Stephen And it's cutting. It's 1-0. Seven minutes gone, and Frank Stapleton finds the net. Beglin ran over it, Sheedy took it, and no one was expecting that ball to be played way, way wide to the right to Langen. He got in behind the defence. There was a little touch there from Daly, and Stapleton was there to finish it. Daly and Grealish, and he's got it! Tony Grealish came completely out of nothing there seemed to be absolutely nothing on there as Jerry Daly spotted Grealish middle of the picture on the run between the two defenders the deftest of flicks off the head well he may not have been going for goal but that's where it ended up and Sheedy's beat the outside trap Yes! Kevin Sheedy has made it three. And the Everton man who returned in place of Tony Galvin because, for no better reason given Galvin's injury, that he was the best midfield option because he could score a few, has repaid the faith of his manager. The big boot of Jim McDonough, the Swiss pushed up, Sheedy beat the offside trap and did ever so well to finish it off. No chance to Borgener. Welcome to Bern, to the Bankdorf Stadium and you come at the saddest moment of the night because here in the stadium and a minute's silence is being observed in memory of the late Jock Steen, the manager of Scotland who died in such tragic circumstances in Indian Park in Cardiff last night. Conditions absolutely perfect. For the most important night for Irish football. Mark Lawrenson playing in midfield. He's ready to take the corner. And then the left back, who wears number two, take the free kick. Six Swiss in and around the area. In Albon! From surely no more than four yards, Charlie in Albon managed to sky it over the top. Shalabon picked him out so well, got in behind the defenders, made the contact, put it over the top. For Hewton. And Chris Hewton wants to go all the way. Well, come on, Swiss believes something's on here, listen to the roar. 
Hagley. Breggy. Good save. That a draw is really no use at all to either side if they want to maintain their hopes of qualification. There's the cross and there's the push in there. Egley doing the pushing, waiting to send for McGrath in. Schillebaum. And a chance here with O'Leary to the rescue. Stapleton up, Cascarino there too. Well, he could very nearly have written a piece of history for him. O'Callaghan. Intelligent ball by O'Callaghan. Beglin with time to measure the cross. Stapleton! That could well be the final act of the drama. I know there's still 12 minutes to go, but from six yards, you've got to bury them. The Swiss on the attack now. And Mate doing something similar at the other end. Brigina. Mate Briga. O'Callaghan for a final flourish no and there's no time for any more anyway no time to add on total disappointment final score on a very disappointing night in Bern Switzerland nil Republic of Ireland nil for a corner kick it was Tony Cascarino who was back there on his own goal line for the straight drilling one through to Blocking with Blocking is Lawrenson with him now is O'Leary still does well and Demianenko backs him up and this looks good Blocking's in with a chance Chernenko and McDonough was smartly down good save McDonough Renko Zavaro nice play getting Gutsman up away on the right wing Locking and Krotasa for in the middle. Good cross, came the cross, and a very difficult ball for the goalkeeper. McDonough did extremely well. Eglin, what a battle, but just didn't get it. Or McCarthy was in, and a very decisive looking tackle indeed. Here's Krotasa. Krotasa pulls it wide, and it's in the net. Union has scored. That Sharenko coming through He's here in the Lennon Stadium. Sharenko it was indeed. For Ireland. Whelan. Brady. Whelan. And a corner kick. And what a start for Ronnie Whelan. That good. Jurenkov, Zakharov, Jurenkov again, the goal scorer. Zavarov, Kondratje, Demianenko. James McDonough down on that. Jurenkov to Protasov, Jurenkov, Kostanov, Kotsmanov. Lovely play, Kotsmanov. And it's in the net. Mick McCarthy was there. Well, that truly wraps it up. The Soviet Union to the Republic of Ireland at nil. Lovely move along the right-hand side. Marvellous football. And it was Gus Manners who came in. No cover. McDonough 
not sure. They lost out. And the ball's in the net. And Fortasov gets the credit. Cherenkov the first goal. Fortasov was in there for that one. <laughs> Grealish. And we've got Cascarino. Stapleton. Ah, oh, it's a move. A perfect move. Uh, Ian, uh, Tony Cascarino. Lieber Fri, I have seen a ingen erbe. I see here Frank Stapp. For B. Søren Busch. Perfect aflevering in. Oh, there comes Stapleton back from. Nej, det er godt rykket af Stive Bæk, det der. Fremineck her kommer der, og så er der udlignet. Efter et minut, efter den irske scoring. Det er et halvt minut, faktisk. Og så er Fremineck her scoret sit 31. landskampmål, og det er faktisk endnu flottere end det irske. Den ligger nemlig perfekt, den aflevering fra Stive Bæk. Ikke i luften, hvor vi ikke rigtig har noget at skulle have sagt, men der kommer den ned. Lige for fødderne af Elkære. Godt rykket også af Elkære. Og så lopper den. O'Leary er sammen. Og så skoer han. Det kan jeg lopper. En perle af gode. Et super talentet lavdrum fra slået til igen. Jeg har aldrig været en fremad mod Nolten, og Fie O'Leary, og så bagom ham, det er en fælde målmand, Jim McDonough, står og klapper. Det er Laudrup til Sandy, se mere igen. Det er mesterligt til det her. O'Leary, halvfølgelig efter Laudrup. Og så bagom ham, det er McDonough på halvdistance, ligge lige. Nej, det er stort til det der røde, vi kan Laudrup på Fie O'Leary. Og der er faktisk ikke andet for Sivebæk at gøre, end at få et fælde nu. Det er der! John Sivebæk første landskampmål efter en solo-tur nede fra midterlinjen. Så er han heldig at få en kontra på det her, men en af året magterne. Ja, to. De har udspillet på det bandespil mellem Andersen og Sivebæk. Det var rent. Elkær. Åh, det er jo rent. Jamen, det er... Det er opvisning. Og det er fodbold igen til højre side. Hjælp med Arnesen. Det er bagfrem til Elkær, der har trukket væk fra sejlen. Og nok rent i år.